Hello. In HDR Light Studio Release 8, we introduced the new Scrim Light. The Scrim Light allows you to produce the studio lighting effect that photographers use where they have a sheet of material and they shine a light behind it to create a diffuse lighting effect. With this, you can produce loads of different lighting effects with lots of uh, nuance and subtlety that you can't easily get any other way. There was a limitation to this, and if you wanted to replicate a very large light, so if I go over here and scale this up with a scrim, which often happens to create a big soft uh, area of light, this could be quite hard to control. And even if you scaled the light to be really small, because of the scale of the light itself being large, it was just quite hard to handle. We've solved this problem in 8Drop2 with a new setting. I'm going to delete that light and make another scrim light. Okay, so you'll notice that we have this uh, edge here, which represents the edge of the light. And as you can see on the canvas for this light, there is the edge of the light. So in HDR Light Studio 8 Drop 2, we've added a new setting, which only makes sense for scrim lights. It's in the settings, the mapping, and it shows for 3D mapped lights, and it's the infinite plane setting. If you turn that on, the content of the light is no longer limited to the edges as it was previously. So we now have an infinite plane onto which we are projecting our scrim light. Now this is fantastic because it lets us manipulate the lighting effect and move the light around within that plane and it will never be cropped by the edge of the light. So this means you can get really great lighting effects, soft lighting effects now using the scrim light uh, because there's no constraints on the edges. This means uh, you don't really need to use the round light for soft lighting anymore. If I was to put a round light over here and scale that up, I would control the appearance of that using the gradient ramp. And I would have to play with this ramp to try and replicate a studio lighting effect. But I don't need to do that now because now I can get these effects. I just change the sides up to 25 so it's a circle. By just physically manipulating an actual light. And the great thing is it's energy conserving. So as I move the light closer we get a much harder lighting effect. As I move it further away, that softens, but there's the same amount of light energy uh, being put into the scene from this light. So if I change the spread of the light, we still have the same amount of light on the map, but it's just less concentrated. So the other good thing is, We've got lots of other things we can do with the scrim light. We can rotate it. And I rotate it here too. Move it to there. So here we've got this kind of up lighting effect on a light. Okay. Now, if we didn't have this new setting, that would get cropped by the actual edges of the light. And if we turn on infinite plane, that will now just continue on until it naturally falls off on that infinite plane. So we can do really lovely lighting effects with a realistic fall off. And this replicates a really huge sheet of material close to our object. So just duplicate that light, move on to the other side. And then we can always move that effect anywhere around on the plane 
even totally outside of the square where we normally would have it. And you can see that effect moving around that plane. So that is the infinite plane setting to use with scrim lights. You'll see it on the light properties settings. When the mapping is 3D, you will see this setting. When you turn it on, you'll be now projecting your scrim light onto an infinite surface. <laughs>